Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, granted four stars by Orbital Platforms Monthly, and it is time for episode 40 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. My god, I thought I wouldn't get past 26. Anyway, so what we're going to do today is first, we're going to have a quick look at the evidence, and then we're going to talk to some people, probably starting with Grace Bloodlines up on her hill, for a couple of reasons. Anyway, let's have a look-see. Incidentally, I do just want to point out, like, this, uh... I have a lot of criticism with this game, but I do appreciate that it does have uh, a dedication to the notion that justice is subjective and that truth is fundamentally subjective, because truth is just uh, a, a construct we invent in our minds. Truth is just what we, as a consensus, agree to be the most likely thing that happened. Once something is in the past, you cannot be certain it happened the way it did. You can only say with degrees of certainty. Um, and that's one of the few things that this game really commits to with, with kind of dealing with its, uh, with its themes. That's what I like. You know, the goal is find your truth, not find the truth. Because it's happened, it's in the past. It doesn't matter how much information we have, we can't go back and look and know for sure. So, potential leads. We've got the helmet. I'm not really sure how to progress with that. I mean, I took it to Lydia and asked her about it and she was like, is, is a helmet? <laughs> Uh, the blood vial with a K on, we've solved to some extent. We know that that, we, well, we suspect that that was um, Ai's Kiwami's uh, blood, possibly. Which mean might mean it's related to how the seals were bypassed. Uh, there's, I don't know where I'm going to find a crowbar or something to go smash open a, a, beat, uh, a bit of dirty ground, but I uh, don't know. Ai's Kiwami's birth records with redacted names, I believe, is related to the discovery that Henry Division, the main suspect in this case when it was first handed to me, uh, is the child of members of the Syndicate. Carmelina took some godflesh. Well, she's already been placed at the scene of the crime due to her blood being on a bullet lodged in the wall, which uh, would indicate that she took the godflesh so that she could transgress the final holy seal and reach the council chamber at all, which weirdly puts her at the scene of the crime. Supposedly, like, my, my theory of events was that she and Witness together developed this, like, demon landmine to try and destroy the council. But um, he activated it remotely, right? So if that's the case, why would she be present? Maybe he wanted to kill her as well. Maybe he was trying, maybe she was a witness to something they designed in the past and she no longer wished to be involved with it. Um, that still doesn't explain why uh, leader Montserrat decided to shoot her as well. Or indeed, why Montserrat is dead if he successfully killed the demon. Although I suppose he could have died of his wounds after shooting the demon in the head. Finally, the Holy Seal is a bloodlock, talk to the doctor, fair enough, we're going to do that anyway because we have to talk to everyone again. Calmly in a silence, verify she was with witness at the end. No idea how to do that. All I can rely on is witness statements at the moment. Who killed the marshals? If they were body swapped, the bodies must have come from somewhere close by. What I wonder is if those bodies were dug up from the graveyard up on the, uh, up on the hill, which would relate to the area of suspiciously weak looking ground. So I wonder if I'll find an empty grave in there. Horrified ghosts, I can't really do a lot about. Um, I don't know where people play dominoes, and I don't know how to find vampire evidence. Hopefully this will this will become revealed as we go along. Uh, to talk to get more information about K-Hacks, it looks like the next step is probably going to be to hang out with Crimson a bunch more. Fair enough, I'll be doing that just passively as we go along. Aikiko rushed straight to her marshals. I should speak with them at the barracks. That's something I forgot to do. I did not go back to speak with the marshals at the barracks, but they will probably be very close-lipped. I need to use Witness's building logs, so I need to go back to his building. I still have no idea why Kafka came to the penthouse before the rest of the council. Um, and I have no idea what the deal is with the bloodstains mysteriously ending at the wall. Maybe there was a corpse there that was removed. That's a thought. Someone, someone fled the slaughter, made it into the hallway, and then their corpse was removed at the end, possibly because we're not supposed to know they died. <gasps> oh, maybe K-Hax was there and K-Hax was killed in that, but then why would they hide him? You know, I think he's the only, the only person whose whereabouts we don't really know about. What if, okay, this is total speculation, but what if Ai's Kiwami never committed suicide? What if he faked his death, right? 
Um, and then he was there during this council session and died, right? During the slaughter, which would mean that his corpse would be found. He crawls away. His blood stain ends at the wall. The corpse is removed. Maybe actually, maybe he's what's in that shallow grave up uh, on the hilltop. Maybe that's not where the martial corpses came from at all. Oh, that's going to be... Hmm. I really want to really pursue that thread now and figure out if that's what's going on. I feel like the most obvious ex explanation of the bloodstain ending at the wall is not a secret passage, because uh, <laughs> the investigator told us that not one could not be found. And I don't expect demon magic sl slipping through walls or whatever, but I genuinely think there was a corpse there that was removed. After all, we were only told, like, we were told... Yeah, there's no, um, there's, there's nobody who's been into the council chamber since the murder happened. And I remember that because we could explicitly ask, well, if there, uh, if nobody's been in there, how do we know a murder has happened at all? And we were told, trust us, there's been murders. But, like, we got there and it was wide open, right? And the information about how to transgress the seals is much more widespread than anybody likes to pretend, right? Everyone knew how to transgress the last seal, and the seal itself was busted. Um, the first seal was the guards, who got fucked up. The second seal requires a space helmet or a demonic uh, infection. Which, there's any number of ways that could be dealt with. And I already have forgotten what the third seal was. Actually, what the hell was it? What was the other seal? Right, there's the guards on the front. There's the, there's the, the space chunk. And then there's the, the Divine Seal, right? But that's three. Where's the other one? So the Seal Marshal's at the front. The second seal was... What's the, thir what's the third seal? The Bloodlock. Oh, okay, so the Bloodlock is is a separate seal to the, the Divine Emblem seal. Okay, fair enough. Right, how do I get up... Uh, how do I get back up there? We will be right back. And here we are. A.K.A. Grace Bloodlines. We've got some more interesting information to discover. Know anything about demons on the island? I was wondering when you'd encounter them. Them? I've seen a lot of things. I've watched a lot of people do a lot of things. Have you heard the rumors? A secret demonology research room run by someone that it shouldn't be? Where? You should go and speak to Crimson. She'll be able to help. There's a secret in the dead zone, but there's a problem with that, isn't there? The dead zone is off limits, you need the correct key to get in, and you'd be locked. Precisely. What if there was another way in, though? A tunnel, perhaps? Okay, this is really weird. Um, I definitely get the feeling that the game devs did not anticipate me playing the game in the order which I did. I simply went- I talked to everyone once, and, and I explored the island as much as I could before coming back and talking to them again. What I'm being told here right now is hints towards something that I- discovered like 20 episodes ago, uh, which is the secret tunnel into the dead zone, which I then used to explore the dead zone. Um, so I've actually done all of this already. Do you like to drink, Investigator? A nice wine on a summer's evening at the best bar in town? A stroll afterwards, perhaps, behind the bar, exploring the world, and what do you find? Who? That's the interesting bit, isn't it? Our dear witness, going where he shouldn't. Anyone else? Mr. Daybreak's a very naughty boy, isn't he? So deciphering all of that, Witness has been using a tunnel behind Sam's bar to get into the dead zone so that he can use the secret demonology lab. Ah, okay. It didn't occur to me that he might still be doing stuff now. Because uh, they mothballed that lab many years ago, so maybe they developed this concept back then. And Witness went back to go use it more recently and has you know, re rebegun his project of making a making a demon weapon, right? Which would put Carmelina in the clear, which would explain her presence at the council meeting, right? If she wasn't part of the plot and she was instead also supposed to be killed. But if And that would explain how they knew there had been a murder, despite nobody having transgressed the boundary, supposedly. But why would she be keeping secret that she was shot by eyes uh, not by eye eyes, by Montserrat? Unless Montserrat just assumed that she was part of the plot, based on her proximity to, wi uh, to witness. I'm so frustrated with your literal way of talking sometimes. Yeah, I've heard that in my life as a, an autistic robot person. Still. 
that's at least witness testimony that witness has been using the secret tunnel, which is a very important piece of information I did not previously have. Is ghost testimony uh, admissible evidence? Do you know anything about the third holy seal? Who could get through there? A special lock requires an unusual key. Well, we, we know what the key was because we found a canister full of loads of people's blood all mixed up together. Got time to chat. I have all the time in the world until the island ends. Are you worried about blinking out of existence when this island ends? What a wonderful bedside manner, investigator. If you do your job, then I have nothing to worry about. My killer will be brought to justice and I can be laid to rest. Are you hoping for an afterlife? Heaven? Hell? Eternal paradise in the cosmos, or an endless suffering in whatever degenerate hell the gods have desired? Eternal paradise in the cosmos, or or and endless suffering in whatever the degenerate hell the gods have desired? I couldn't figure out why I couldn't pronounce that sentence correctly. This was, this is like my third take, and I've then realized that it's because it's badly written. In the cosmos, or and endless suffering in whatever the degenerate hell the gods have devised. That's just a really awkwardly put together sentence. It isn't something to worry about. It can't be helped. What if there is no afterlife and you spend your life hoping there is? What a waste. Do you believe in the afterlife, investigator? Life is to be lived, not spent waiting. Bravo, investigator, you get it. Isn't it heresy not to work towards heaven with the gods? Just because something is heretical doesn't mean it's wrong. Besides, you can do the work of the gods without being burdened by the worry of heaven and hell. Attachment leads to suffering. Trust me, I have a unique perspective on this. I'll take that advice on board. It's kind of funny to ask a ghost whether she believes in the afterlife. By definition, she's already experiencing an afterlife. That's how afterlives work. May you always live in the shadow. And may you reach the moon. Alright, time to go talk to someone else now. Oh, what have we here? Secret whiskey? It's been a while since we had a little future glance. Way of Blood Bar, 25th Island Sequence. Can justice be born out of chaos? It's the only weapon we have against Discord. Look, I can't stand the walled gardening of what were previously open formats and movements into specific corporate-owned applications being presented as some kind of public good, but Discord's a perfectly fine chat system for what we have nowadays. How far can you go? It depends. Sometimes you must go as far as you can. Can you break the law to achieve justice? We all break the law. The law gets in the way. No one's above it. Sometimes the law gets bent in the quest for truth. Justice comes in many forms. Also, in most societies, especially in capitalist societies, many people are above the law. Um, which, so it's an odd, odd comment for someone to make in these like little, uh, little meta asides, um, given the main themes of the game. How many does the syndicate accept? As many as it needs to. Also, justice and the law are very different things. Many laws are indeed themselves unjust. Dead man's ambition. A floral taste with the aroma of vanilla. Find a comfortable chair. Not too comfortable. Comfort will make you nostalgic. You have nothing to be nostalgic about. Which is a weird thing to hear, actually, considering that I've been feeling quite nostalgic today as the sun slants through the window and I think about old summers. Anyway, let's go! I also spotted a Shinji that I missed previously. Why are you doing this for these people? They locked you up for something that really wasn't your fault. I'm an investigator. I investigate. Even if it's for a bunch of psychos that wish you weren't on the island. A job's a job. I guess. <laughs> hey doc, I just thought I'd drop in for a chat. Doctor Danger. Hell yeah, loads of info. Anyway, I've decided to come to the doctor next because I think that his involvement is peripheral. I have a sneaking suspicion that he's lying to, to cover things up for Aikiko's involvement but I don't think he's directly involved himself. Doc, the third holy seal is a blood lock coded to council blood. Makes sense. Who's got council blood? Is this a trick question, Love Dies? Only the council? What if that wasn't true? Are you asking if someone secretly has council blood? 
That's a stretch, Love Dies. What about you? Do you keep samples of council blood? I do for medical reasons. They're locked down, though. Could someone have taken one? They're under high security. Anything suspicious recently? Nope. Anyone been in your clinic who shouldn't be in there? Nope. Although I did catch Sam in there. He was just picking up his prescription, though. Can you check that the council blood samples are all accounted for? Let me just pull up the inventory on my phone. Sorry, the app's taking ages to load. Hmm. That's odd. There's one missing, but the security alarm didn't go off. Whose sample is missing? Kafka memories. There's an anomaly with Kafka's log login to the blood log. This is bad, love dies. You don't need to tell me. This puts you and or Sam at the scene. What on earth? What kind of prescription does a skeleton need? Calcium supplements, maybe. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. A blood sample from your clinic was found on the seal. You found Sam snooping in your clinic. Well, yeah, but he's just saying that. Maybe he took the sample and used it. Well, it sure as hell wasn't me. Interesting. So, we previously asked him about the busted lock on the back of his clinic, because uh, he insisted that the clinic logs were proof he'd been in his lab all throughout the murder. But, I mean, I, I was suspicious of him because the, the back door was busted, which meant that he could have gone in and out that way without it being logged. But that could also be evidence of, the, of, of Sam Daybreak breaking in to get the blood. Why don't we know who Henry? Why don't we know who Henry's father is? You mean why wasn't that tracked like every other birth? Yes, you're the doctor after all. When she gave birth, she said she didn't know who the father was. What about DNA? The test came up blank. Isn't that concerning? Very. Not a lot I can do about it though. Why would a DNA test come up blank? We missed someone and we don't have them recorded. I don't think this is important, Love Dies. I'm not sure how this relates to the council murder. What if someone deliberately kept the birth a secret? Why would they do that? Someone having an affair they shouldn't be. Well, it's a possibility, but they'd need high-level clearance for that. Or access to you. That's quite the accusation, Investigator. I think Ais Kiwami is Henry's father. What? The blood samples match. The only place you could have got a sample of Kiwami's blood is from his grave. You broke into my best friend's grave to get a blood sample? You desecrate the resting place of someone I consider a brother to run around with some conspiracy theory? We're done here. I like you, Investigator, and I'll help you with genuine lines of inquiry, but I will not tolerate this. Interesting. Strong reaction there. Do you know anything about demons on the island? What are you talking about, Love Dies? The marshals killed them all, didn't they? Got a sec, Doc? I know I just incredibly upset you by desecrating your friend's corpse's grave. Can you feel it in the air? Oh, okay, you're, you're still flirty. Okay, cool, fine. Don't know what I expected. You been spraying pheromones again? Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Is that- hmm. How unethical is it to spray yourself with pheromones, I wonder? Uh, that's a question for another time. Hey, the island's about to end. This may be the last time we talk before you and Judge determine who's guilty. It's sad to see the island die. I'm more worried about Perfect 25. A new island allowed us to have a new start, make some changes. It's healthy to have a change of scenery. Freeze the mind. If 25 is perfect, there's no more new starts. Not worrying about demonic invasions will take a load off the mind, though. What if the island is built on bad foundations? Oh, don't worry, your pretty little head, Doc. I'm here to breathe life back into paradise. I managed not to proposition you this time as well. Oh, he wants brownie points for not being a pest. The answer you wanted was never going to happen. Not this island, not after everything. Mass murder does spoil the mood, doesn't it? What we did in the past stays in the past, Doc. Out of exile and ready to start over. That's right. Maybe I'll see you on the next island. I hope so. I mean, I get that this game is like... Oh, hey, that was... I can't get any more hangout information from it. Okay, good. I guess that means we're reaching... May the cosmos be a mystery. May you reach the moon. I guess that means we're reaching the limit of what we can learn from, from talking to people. <clears throat> Which is cool with me. But, uh, let's see, my throat's getting a bit sore, so I'm going to end this one here. But, before I do that, I do want to think for a second, because, like... <laughs> 
I get that this game is like a hybrid like exploration novel game and like visual novel and that there's a lot of like history of dating sims in visual novels like this is clearly supposed to be like what if there was an extra dimensional murder mystery that was also a dating sim but I have been adamantly refusing any advances and not making any advances of my own simply, beca beca simply because that would be a huge breach of investigatorial ethics, right? Everyone in the island is a suspect until the trial is done. Therefore, striking up any kind of relationship, even with someone who I have had a relationship with in the past, or Love Dies has at least, would be dumb. That would be bad. Like, it would be unethical, and also it would uh, be liable to make me a bit short-sighted about who might or might not be the killer. It just seems like a dumb thing to do. Anyway, that brief lecture aside, that's going to be it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Join me again next time when we'll do a, uh, I guess, a roundup of all of the rest of these assholes. So, I'll catch you later. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.